Here I have 2.6 finding inputs and outputs of a function from its graph. The graph of the function f is shown below. Find f of 2 and find one value of x for which f of x equals 4. So f of 2 we've actually just completed. That means they've given me the x value and they want to know what the y value is. So I'm gonna go over to where x is equal to two and the graph seems to be up here. So the point they're asking about is right there. Now I know the x value of this point. What I want to know is what is the y value of that point and it happens to also be two. Now for the information they gave me for the second um, situation is f of x equals negative four. That means that this time they've given me the y value and they're asking me what is the corresponding x value. So I'm going to go to the y value of negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to span across till I get to the graph. Now I actually land on the graph here, but I also notice that there's a coordinate over here. So there's actually two answers for this x could actually equal, um, here the x value would be 0, or x could equal, here the x value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So either one of these answers would be accepted, um, but it did say just find one value. So you choose which one you want to pick, okay? Now, if for some reason on your graph it doesn't land exactly in a corner, like on a unit, don't try to guess the fraction. Use the other point that does land on a corner in the graph paper, okay? So you want to be very, very precise. Don't try to guess what the answer is. Pick the one that you can obviously tell what the answer, what the uh, x-coordinate or y-coordinate is.